day with uh, Patrick Yonker. Pat, Roy. Five times uh, uh, Tour de France rider, dual Olympian, winner of some pretty impressive bike races, and uh, especially so here in South Australia where he won the uh, Tour Down Under back in uh, back when it was a, a real race, I think. <laughs> yeah, the hard men. Back when the hard men were racing. And uh, Pat and I have been working for a while in um, really trying to understand a lot about human performance and what can translate um, from uh, elite athletes like Pat uh, operating on the world stage in some of the most grueling, challenging bike races around and how some of that stuff can translate into everyday life for everyday humans, the, uh, the corporate warriors. Uh, so, Pat, just uh, from, from some of your history, we've talked about a lot of things. What do you think are some of the key things, the key sort of life hacks that you can bring into everyday life that perhaps you uh, you learn through all of your training. Yeah, um, what I really like about what you're doing with Well Team and what I see on the website, uh, you know, congratulations, it looks great. And it's kind of uh, reminds me of the early days, um, you know, as a professional athlete, you have to look after your body, obviously, and then most importantly, your brain. And uh, it's really funny when I look at your website, and I uh, think back to my days living in Canberra at the Australian Institute of Sport, where we're really privileged to have some of the world's best sports scientists, nutritionists, and um, basically the best coaching staff available. So there's really a lot of synergies I find with your Well Team website with what I've experienced as an athlete. I think um, uh, what you try and get across to your group is uh, to have a goal, have goals, um, may well be that you walk or run or jog five kilometers. It doesn't matter what goal it is. So you're really big on, on having a goal. For myself, when I was younger, it was Olympic Games or Tour de France. Um, but it can be the city to bay five kilometers, whatever. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So uh, the Department of Expectations, it's not about that, just something that you can achieve. And also like, um, you know, what you're doing with World Team as well is um, uh, the breathing was, was something I really enjoyed on, on your website and uh, brought back a lot of memories and because as an athlete um, you're taught that by the sports scientists um, to really develop uh, proper breathing techniques and that you breathe through your stomach and not really through yeah, your lungs yeah, yeah. where people think that you breathe through your lungs but it's not they oxygenate the blood but it's really the deep diaphragm breathing so really loving what you do on well team and it just goes on and uh, um, obviously as an athlete we have uh, regular checkups uh, pretty much every six weeks you know blood tests obviously you know if you're uh, an office worker or in a corporate area you don't need to have that as often but definitely once a year or every six months to your doctor should be a good friend of yeah 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 absolutely so i've really been enjoying that to, to be really honest this whole uh, well team that you've been putting together um yeah bringing back memories and uh, flashbacks and um yeah yeah i really like the science obviously uh, as a former athlete uh, for me um to perform in my former life was all sports science and you bring a lot of that with you in the well team so yeah, yeah well done for that so it's cool i still remember when we went for a ride uh, up uh, the corkscrew road here in in adelaide many many years ago now and uh and uh i was i was riding up absolutely on the limit and you were riding up next to me just cool calm and collectible you were a hill climber in your time uh but uh you were telling me all about breathing back then i mean that was a tough hill to climb up uh, and you were just doing it comfortably uh, I, I must admit you did say something about trying to breathe in like you were smoking a a, a cigar i think it was at the time i don't know whether was that what they taught you at the uh, australian institute of sports smoking well, cigars you know you really um breathing is a big thing especially now you know we all know wim hof and uh his ice baths and wim hof is really been great to um uh, tell people about breathing in, in a way where um you know he's learned a lot from uh, what he experienced, Wim, during his earlier days. But yeah, like really inhaling, deeply inhaling and relaxing and really oxygenating uh, the blood. Look, breathing is something that people take for granted and most people don't breathe correctly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really happy to see you on the website. I really try and promote that people actually uh, learn to breathe properly. So, uh, you know, inhaling more aggressively and then you also exhale and uh, I am um, you know I'll be 53 not long I still think about my breathing uh, numerous times during the day it's a big part of my day is, is breathing yeah, so, and uh, if you do it correctly um, some people have probably changed their life 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I agree with you. And I, I, was, I was out just the other morning and just concentrating in breathing through the nose while I was up climbing the hills. And it makes such a huge difference just to the, that state of relaxation, even when you're on the bike. What, what was the key, do you think, in breathing on the bike? Yeah, absolutely. So um, how important is it to, to breathe? Um, say I was competing at, um, look, you know, I'm talking, you know, name dropping. I'm competing at Olympic Games or Tour de France. Um, because I wasn't super talented, I was not like uh, Stuart O'Grady or Robert McEwen who had this massive lung capacity. And uh, so I was not gifted. So if I had one missed breath, that would mean I would lose contact with, with the group. So you're breathing at such an intensity that uh, say climbing a, a mountain pass like Alep de Wez, if I got my breathing wrong or, or something uh, interfered with my breathing, I would then lose contact with the bunch and uh, that will cost me the race. So um, it's a bit of an art form that takes years of practice and you're never finishing practice. You will never finish, but mm. you can perfect it. And uh, uh, actually there's a lot of stuff on your World Team website, but um, you know, following Wim Hof or there's so much on YouTube, but it all works. You can't really do anything incorrectly, but I like the, the box breathing, uh, except we do eight minutes in, eight seconds inhale. <laughs> Uh, hold for eight minutes, uh, seconds, and then um, exhale. But yeah, yeah. to give you an idea, um, I was talking minutes there for a minute. Um, there are people that can hold their breath for 22 minutes. So that's a fact. Some people don't understand, but there are human beings that can hold the breath for 20 minutes. And uh, wouldn't advise you do that. Not uh, as a starting point. Uh, a starting point, but it would take me about two or two days or three days of training, and I'll get you to two minutes of breath hold. So, yeah. um, and that's really. Um, significant improvement on your everyday feeling of well-being yeah brilliant and uh so we, we've spoken a bit about fasting and uh, uh typically when i've seen you out training you don't eat much mm. and so uh, we, we've had our 12-week uh, accelerate group going through some intermittent fasting and i've got news for them this week they're about to arrive here soon and we're going to be doing a 24 or 36 hour fast with them this week how important do you think fasting was for you um yeah we um i first came across fasting or intermittent fasting uh, during my time at Australian Institute of Sport and um, also as a professional athlete later uh, at the Tour de France um, we would start our training days, easier training days will be started uh, without breakfast. We'll have a coffee and a lot of water. You always have to hydrate when you're fasting, make sure your fluid levels are up. And uh, what that would do is tell the, br the brain will talk to the liver and uh, they'll find out there's not much glycogen left in the body and it'll start burning fat. So what the intermittent fasting is all about is trying to get the pathway between brain and liver, yep. talk to each other, not to use glycogen as the energy because there isn't any, you've been fasting, so you use fat. Yep. And that's how you see these Olympic athletes, they can really uh, become vascular, have very low body fat. And uh, it's something that you really need to kind of uh, Know, train for you have to really build up it's everything takes time i mean your 12 week accelerate program is really 12 years yeah so yeah, you really yeah. need to um take things slowly um it works basically it works and um you know sometimes you may break a fast and and uh, there are hacks like taking you know coconut butter is a fantastic product to keep you feeling full yeah uh, look don't uh, look for perfection Try, uh, uh, you try and do the best you can. I know a lot of Olympic champions who um, go for an intermittent fast for you know, maybe 18 hours or whatever, and uh, you know they um, may break it, but it's not the end of the world. It, it's really about the brain telling the liver to burn fat and not the sugars. Yeah, so. perfect. Well, there we go, some simple tips from uh, elite cyclist. I still call you an elite cyclist because- uh, Masters. I <laughs> Old people. Well, no, I've seen you when we're uh, out uh, riding and uh, out on the Tour Down Under, even just the uh, social community ride. And, and clearly, you've still got that hugely competitive streak in you to be well out front in the community oh, yeah. challenge. It's not a race, but uh, Pat's out there with a police escort right out the front, absolutely hammering it. So clearly, at your age, you've still got that all of that drive and desire. Yeah, I don't have much left in my life, so that's my last little glory uh, <laughs> rush is to, to beat um, the people that work full-time. Yeah. So that's what I live for today, yeah. Perfect. Well, here we are with Pat Yonker. Fantastic, Pat. Thanks so much for sharing your insights, and thanks for being a part of Well Team. Really yep. appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Troy. Pleasure.